Hi, welcome to Monroe Live. I'm Paul Turnbull, the lead electric machine uh, development engineer for uh, Monroe and Associates. I, I want to show you something that we found when we were doing the teardown of the uh, Kia EV9, uh, some really innovative electric machine development going on. And in order to get a good feel for what's going on with this new uh, EV9, I wanted to take you back to the Hyundai Ionic 5. So Hyundai, Kia have been kind of at the forefront here of uh, electric machine technology and EV um, innovation. And one of the things that they did on the um, Hyundai Ionic 5 that we really liked, we pointed out earlier, was they used this fourth connection. So normally, electric machines only need three connections to make a three-phase electric machine work. Hyundai brought out a fourth connection for the uh, electric machine, and that gave them access to the windings of the electric machine so that they could use the electric machine inductance as a part of the circuit for their boost converter so that when they can go and, and plug in, when the customer plugs into a 400 volt charger, it gives them the possibility of going up to um, charging their 800 volt battery quickly and effectively. Um, so they're using the inductance of the motor as a part of the boost converter in their charging system. So you're not using the uh, motor when you're charging, so it's great to be able to use that inductance as a part of the circuit. So that's what that fourth connection does for them on the Hyundai Ionic. With the Kia EV9, they took it one step further. Now, with the Kia EV9 motor, similar motor, but now they've brought six connections out so what they've done is they have both the beginning and the end of each of the three phases connected to the inverter. And that gives them full access to um, the winding configuration of the, of the motor. Um, <clears throat> this is an idea that has been kicking around in the industry for uh, 20 plus years, and no one's been able to come up with a practical way to actually implement this for a traction machine in an EV. What this system does, when you have all six connections coming up to the inverter, it allows you to reconfigure the motor in one of two different um, configurations, either Y or Delta. And I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but before I do, I want to just give a, a quick shout out to the, the supplier that made this motor. So the supplier is uh, Vitescu. And Vitescu is, um, um, is a relatively new name in the um, EV business, but they're an older company. They uh, spun off the original company was Continental and Continental spun off their electric machine group to form an entirely new company uh, called Vitesco. And these guys have been at the forefront of electric machine development for over a decade. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with them on, on projects and they've been top notch. Um, and I wanted to show the, the kind of quality that they have. Um, not every electric machine developer is able to um, do these bar wound interior magnet machines with this kind of quality. And I want to point out the uniform spacing between the conductors and how every single conductor has the same exact bend in it. Um, and that ends up giving you uh, great durability. When, when the conductors get too close or are bent in a non-uniform way, then you can end up getting shorts um, after a durability test. The other thing I wanted to point out is the uniform and uh, high quality of each of these welds. And getting the welds right on an electric machine 
is the big part of the, of the quality of the machine. So uh, props to Vitesco for uh, making a high quality machine that's uh, clearly so on, on there, uh, just from the visible look of it. This is, it's a standard kind of a design, same, same kind of design that we saw uh, on the Hyundai Ionic. It's a eight pole, 48 slot machine. This one has um, 10 conductors per slot. And so it's, a, it's a, the kind of design that just about all of the EV makers at, here at Monroe, when we tear them apart, we look for similarities. Just about everybody is converging towards this interior magnet um, bar wound type of machine um, across the board. Um, so Kia is, uh, this is an, just another um, uh, evo part of the evolution of that type of machine. There is one more feature that I wanted to point out. Um, on the older design, um, this, you can see that the lamination around the um, mounting teeth, mounting points can uh, sometimes bend up. This was of course happened during our handling. Um, but it can happen in process and that can cause some trouble. Um, what they've done here is they've added four little, um, what we call stitches, where they indent the material to make one lamination lock into the next to make sure that the uh, uh, laminations stay put even out here at the mounting feet. So little details like that are a sign of a supplier that knows what they're doing. Um, it's a quality supplier that's um, where this is not their first rodeo. So love to see it, um, but let's talk about this innovative design where they can have this Y Delta switch on the fly. Y Delta switches have existed in industry for a long time, but typically you have to turn off the machine, lock it out, and then flip the switch and then turn the machine back on in order to get um, an effective switch from Y to Delta. When you switch from Y to Delta, the personality of the motor completely changes. So when it's connected in Y, and when I say Y, it means that the three phases are all connected together at a central point. Sometimes it's called the star configuration, where all of the um, three phases are connected in what, at one point. When you connect the machine in Y connection, it gets high torque and it's really great for low speed efficiency. Now, if you connect it in Delta now, so that the end of each phase is connected to the beginning of the next phase. And so the current can go round and round. Usually then you bring uh, the current in from the inverter. Uh, the inverter connections are made at these three points. Um, this allows two different parallel paths for the current. And so you end up with lower resistance on the winding and you get much higher power from the motor, about 1.7 times the power. And you shift the high efficiency point from low speed up to high speed. And so this is a little bit of the, um, of the best of both worlds. So typically you kind of have to design a motor with one physical connection and then you have to compromise between this kind of low speed and high speed performance. But with Kia, the EV9, they're able to do optimize for city uh, efficiency in the Y connection. And then on the fly, this inverter is able to switch with power running to change it to a high power configuration with high efficiency at highway speed. It's just a reconfiguration of the winding and the, the inverter is able to smoothly transition from Y to Delta. And that smooth transition um, allows you to go from the high torque, low end, you know, get off the line kind of performance that you get with a, a Y connection to when you're up, up around 45 miles an hour, you switch to Delta, it'll do it automatically or you can do it yourself. Um, and then you get the high efficiency performance um, for um, better highway electric range. Um, absolutely brilliant. In the past, 
it has never been practical because in order to do it, you have to have in the inverter two completely separate sets of switches. And the switches are the most expensive part of the inverter. And so there really hasn't been a cost-effective practical way to do that. But now these switches are coming down in cost. The, the volume of electric machines has gotten to the point where now that EVs are more popular, um, has gotten to the point where the cost of, for, of two sets of switches is no longer prohibitive. Um, plus, Kia is actually using this uh, double set of switches to accomplish the same thing that they did back with uh, Hyundai Ionic 9, uh, 5, where they're using this circuit to give them access to individual phases and the inductance of the individual phase to use in their boost converter. So this becomes a part of the boost converter circuit when you're charging. So it gives you three types of functionality. You get the low speed Y connection, you get the high speed delta connection for when you're driving, um, and then when you're charging, it allows the system access for the boost converter to go to boost from a 400 volt charger to be able to charge your 800 volt battery. So with all that functionality uh, built in, it more than pays for the um, extra set of switches in the inverter. Uh, it's the, a first that we've seen in the industry, uh, groundbreaking innovation that Kia has uh, put on the road for us. Um, it's just one more reason why uh, that differentiates the EV9 from the rest of the competition. Um, and it's something that I think uh, a lot of the other automakers now are going to be looking at as a, something to uh, look for um, an innovation that they might try to incorporate as well. So thanks. Uh, that's it from Monroe Live. Thanks for watching.